it's awesome. I mean, you know, I mean, and, and to have a genius like Stephen Daldry behind it, um, it's just something we never imagined would happen. But it's it's really cool to see someone else's sort of interpretation of the Stranger Things world. I mean, so um, I don't know. It's been a really wild experience, but it's something that's given us confidence about what can happen with the show or the franchise moving forward because this has been such a success in our minds. Yeah. This is a standalone play um, and it's been four years in development and the play speaks to season five which has yet to be released which has now just started filming and uh, season five speaks to the play and so they're, um, they're interlinked but at the same time we've had a mission to make sure that the play stands alone. So you don't have to know Stranger Things to understand and appreciate the, the drama in this ex exceptional work. I mean, that was part of Steven's idea and, and Sonia's idea always, which is it's like a, it sort of is, is a bridge between the seasons. So usually, you know, usually a show's over and like, and and then you're either doing a prequel, you're continuing it, but in this case, the ability to the, the ability to tell a story that is sort of is very much living when the show is still alive, and it really bridges the gap between the seasons. It's it's commenting on, I think it enriches what you've seen in season four, but it also starts to hint and give you a sense of what's coming in season five. Oh, I don't have any expectations other than to have a good time. You know, everything that I've heard about the show uh, is, 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 is exciting and fun. I'm, I'm curious, as everyone else, is how did Dr. Brenner become Dr. Brenner? What is that origin story? And so I'm, I, I hear that the actor who's playing, playing Dr. Brenner is fantastic, Patrick, and I'm looking forward to meeting him. And, you know, the, the experience of watching a play and is, uh, is so much different than watching a film because we all enter into a space together and have this uh, collective experience. So um, I think that really it's the best place for an actor to have an, have an experience, you know, and with the audience because every show is different, every audience is different. So I'm just, I'm looking, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the show. We've both been talking about it. We don't really know much about the story. My, sorry, my husband is, plays Hopper in the TV series, <laughs> Stranger Things. Um, and so, yeah, we've, we've not, I think there's maybe three generations of the Hopper family, so that should be quite interesting. It's going to be quite odd for David to see this character that he's developed, you know, played by other people. So I'm just here to hold his hand. <laughs> Well, I think it's exciting that the fans get to all experience it together. I mean, with, with, with streaming, it's great, but everyone's watching from their homes. And so to have that experience of reacting and responding as a group is something new. And then also just the immediacy of being right next to these characters that hopefully they love and care about, or in this case, grow to love and care about. Is, it's just, it's a very different experience than watching the and show. And the effects. I mean, just seeing these, you know, How incredible effects. It? come to life right in front of you and you know it's not a VFX artist behind a computer that did it you know you kind of it blows us away I don't know how they did it feels like magic it. yeah it, it feels is like magic. yeah it is like it is magic yeah So, Lily, on a scale of zero to a hundred, in terms of Stranger Things nerdiness, where are you on that level? Oh God, I don't know what to say without getting myself into trouble. I'm, it's 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 amazing. I'm a hundred. <laughs>